guys welcome welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here and you absolutely love makeup my name is janelle i post makeup videos twice a week on wednesdays and on saturday so please do consider subscribing if you like the video make sure you drop me a thumbs up leave me a comment i love to hang out with you guys in the actual comments of my videos for today's makeup look we are going in with a fiery sunset eyeshadow look i absolutely love this eyeshadow look i love the makeup for my base i went in with a lot of drugstore products you know just to show that we can still get nice makeup from the drugstore it's not everyday sephora it's not everyday nars or everyday huda beauty or anastasia i love those products don't get me wrong but sometimes you want things that are a little bit more affordable you may be on a budget you know and you have to keep track of your money money doesn't grow on trees so as i said for my base i went in with a lot of products from the drugstore for the eyeshadow i went in with a juvia's place palette i will show you that palette throughout the video but that's enough of me rambling on i'm just going to let you watch the video hope you enjoy and i'll see you in the comments hi hi hello guys hope you all are doing well today we're back for another makeup video back in the world of makeup today i'm going to start by doing my eyes so i'm just going to go in and do my brows prime my eyes for the eyeshadow first and this is so strange for me i always do my base first as you guys know i'm a base first kind of girl but i'm gonna just switch it up for for today I'm just going to go in with my very short Nano Coco eyebrow pencil in the shade Dark Brown. Next, just to define and sculpt my brows out a little bit more, I like going in with the LA Girl Brow Pro Mid. I use this in the shade Dark Brown. Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer just to clean those brows up. For our eyeshadow primer today, I'm going in with the Juvia's Place I Prep I Prime Eyeshadow Primer. I use this in shade number two. And I'm just going to set that with a little bit of translucent powder. Just so that the shadows don't skip when we're blending them out. All right, so brows are done, eyes are prepped, and we're gonna move into eyeshadow. For my eyeshadow today, I'm gonna be working from the Juvia's Place. This is the Magic Mini Eyeshadow Palette. And these are the colors in the palette. This isn't the first time that I've used the palette, but this is the first time I'm gonna do like a sunsetty, fiery eye with the palette. So I'm going to start with laying down a transition shade. You know I love a transition. I'm going to go in with this brown called Nana from the palette. Alright, and this is a beautiful 
stunning transition shade. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And that was a BH Cosmetics number five blending brush that I went in with. The next shade I'm going to work with in my crease, just to deepen up the crease, is the shade called Zakaya. It is like this nice reddish browny brick colored and I'm going in with a Morphe M434 blending brush. I'm also going to work that color on the outer edge of the eye just so that we hug the eye. Going back in with the transition, I'm just going to do some more blending so that the transition is nice and seamless between those two colors. These colors are blending out so nicely together. For my lid, there's a beautiful yellow gold shade called Nubia. This one in the corner, I'm going to work that on the lid of my eye. I'm just switching to one of these eyeshadow applicators, the ones with the sponge tips. I find these apply shimmer shades so beautifully and they really intensify them. And they're really inexpensive. Beautiful that gold shade is. It is stunning. Just gonna go back in with the crease shade and blend the outer corner in so that we have a seamless transition between the shimmer shade and the outer corner of the eye.
that's it for the eyes for now i just went in with the liquid pencil eyeliner pencil this is the revlon the color stay sharp line i absolutely love this it is so black and the point is so 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 fine and i find it really helps me to get into the corners and really stays close to the lash line but i'm just going to do the rest of my face um i'll come back do the mascara do a lower lash line but let me just get my base on you know i love my base my favorite part of my makeup is my base so let's work on that for my primer today i'm going in with an la girl primer i'm going to try as much in terms of my base to use drugstore products it's not everyday sephora products not everyday nars not everyday huda beauty you know some people like things that are a little bit more affordable I like this LA Girl Pro Prep HD Moisture Nourishing Primer, not because it is moisturizing. I don't find it to be very moisturizing. But what I find is that it gets very tacky on the skin and it really grips on to my makeup. in so nicely to the skin and as I said it dries down to this very tacky base so, since we have this beautiful eyeshadow look going on I'm gonna go full coverage now when I go to the drugstore and I want full coverage and I also want a comfortable matte I normally reach for my this is the Maybelline Superstay foundation I use this in the shade 356 warm coconut All right, and I'm gonna go in with a foundation brush today. I'm gonna to blend that out with the Morphe M439 foundation brush. And let's see if I can avoid taking my eyebrows off. That's why I like to do my base first, you know, because when I go in with my eyeshadow first, I normally take off some of my eyebrows, but we'll fix it if we need to. The coverage on this foundation is so good. All right, and look at how beautiful that foundation looks on the skin. I don't think this foundation has ever looked this beautiful on my face. Maybe it's because I went in with a brush instead of a sponge and it allowed me to maintain more coverage, but absolutely love it. Next, I'm going to do some highlighting and sculpting of the face. For concealer, I'm going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I use this in the shade Butterscotch. While that dries down, I'm going to contour the face. To contour, I've been loving going in with the Black Opal Skin Perfecting Stick Foundation. I use this in the shade Suede Mocha. Since it's a foundation stick, I find it blends out so beautifully on the skin. It sets nicely. Yeah, it basically does the blending for me.
All right, that was nice and simple. I'm gonna go in with a real tight neat sponge now and blend my concealer out. I'm gonna start on my chin. Right, skin is looking juicy. We are nice and contoured, nice and highlighted. Foundation is beautiful, but we're going to start setting it down. I love to powder things down. For my concealer and to set it, I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I use this in the shade Translucent Honey. And I immediately go in and set under my eyes because that's the area where I tend to crease the fastest. And we don't want any creases under our eyes. All right, that's the first round of powder. I normally go in for two rounds. All right, so I highlighted on the bridge of my nose. So I'm gonna set down the bridge of my nose as well. So anywhere that you use your liquids, always make sure that you go in and you set. I'm just going to leave that excess powder on the bridge of my nose because I like that area to be highlighted. I'm going to set the rest of my face now. As I said, I'm sticking to drugstore a lot today. So I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me. This is their matte and poreless setting powder their pressed powder i use this in the shade 365 nutmeg next i'm just going to warm up the perimeter of my face with a little bit of bronzer I'm going in with the Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer in the shade Dark. This is what it looks like. Base is looking so good and I'm always happy when my base looks good and I normally go in a little bit heavy with my bronzer I just love bronzer I love bronzer if you don't like bronzer that much going with as light a hand as you want to you know just the right amount of warmth for you but I absolutely love a good bronzer 
and this revolution bronzer it is so good and I almost forgot to contour my nose so with that same bronzer starting from the head of my brows just gonna work that down the side of my nose For my blush, since we have that nice, you know, orangey yellow going on on the lid, I'm going to go in with a corally orangey blush. This is my favorite coral blush. This is from Palladio and it's their matte blush in the shade called Tipsy. Just going in with a Real Techniques blush brush. This blush is so pretty. If you're a dark skin babe, or you know, if you're any complexion actually, get you a nice coral blush. I think Juvia's Place has some nice ones as well. But I just love this one from Palladio. I'm gonna set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. For my lower lash line, I'm going to go in with a black eyeliner, black eye pencil. I'm also going to go in with that same color from the palette Zakaya that we used in the crease, just beneath that black pencil. I'm just going to do my mascara and some lashes, come back, do a lip and finish off the look. But for mascara, I'm going in with the Maybelline Defoxys Lash Lash Lift. And for lashes, I'm going to go in with a pair of Ardell's. This is a soft touch and this one is in the style 156 Black. Alright guys, so lashes are on. I'm just going to go under my eye with a little bit of this Revlon Photo Blurring Powder. It's in the shade 030 Medium Deep and it's a blurring powder. So I'm just going to press a, press a little bit of that under the eye just to give me a little bit more brightness. I like my under eye to look bright. I find it wears off, you know, throughout the day. So I like to start with a bright under eye. I'm not going to go too heavy. For my lips, I'm going to start by lining my lips with a dark brown pencil. Today, I'm going to go in with the Black Opal Precision Lip Definer in the shade Timber. For lipstick, I'm going to go in with the Palladio Forever and Ever Intense Lip Paint in the shade Eternal. This is like a pinky, peachy color and I think that's going to look really, really good with the eyeshadow that we have going on and also with the blush.
that color is perfect and it's a lip paint it's not a liquid lipstick so it's not drying so i'm not going to put any gloss on today i'm just going to leave it like that i like it like that all right guys so that is my makeup look all done i am all set for the day i absolutely love the eyeshadow that gold shimmer shade from the Juvia's Place palette is absolutely beautiful. The mattes were so smooth, blended out so nicely. The drugstore foundation that we went in with today, the Maybelline Superstay, absolutely fantastic. I abs this is probably my favorite drugstore foundation. It gives me coverage, it gives me mattness, but it blends out beautifully and it's also very, very comfortable to wear. All right, guys, so I hope you like the makeup look. Thank you very much for watching yet yeah, another video. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. If you aren't subscribed and you love makeup, please do consider subscribing and joining me here in Makeup Land. All right, so have a fantastic week wherever you are. I hope you are doing absolutely fabulous, darlings. I hope you are. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.